Okay, Lady of Forty. I disagree with Anna on this. I thought it was a really good film. <laughs> um, it was like a sort of thriller thing that was set in South Africa, and it followed a woman who was um, who had got a job like running a lie machine, and she had to go and do a do a a job for her boss. And she went on a road trip with her young son, and she hit she hits a man by mistake, and then she tries to save him by taking him to the hospital, but he dies, and she's scared that um, if she takes him to the police, she'll get arrested, and then her son will get taken away with her. So she disposes of the body, and then yeah, of course in a garbage dump. In a garbage <laughs> the dump, way which you is do. Great. <laughs> um, but then of course, uh, yeah, she she gets involved with the family, and everything everything goes very wrong for her. Um, it's basically about telling lies, and to what extent you can tell a lie that is not going to hurt you and come back and haunt you. Um, that's how the film opens, and you immediately know it's going to be about lies. That was a bit. I thought that was a bit too direct. She's taking a lie test, and you understand that she's going to get into some shit with a lie. Um, uh, I would agree with Anna about the end of the film. Uh, it was going all very well. I was getting really jumpy and I was scared when I was watching the film and um, I was the whole time really, really nervous something bad was going to happen. Um, but then at the end of the film it just ended really oddly and abruptly and it was trying to be all Hitchcocky and or something uh, but it didn't, it was quite like, what was that? Like that was really weird and it, but it wasn't like, oh what was that? And I, no, I think now I'm thinking loads so I was like, that was just a bit weird. <laughs> Could have been quite a good film, Leila Fury, but um, I feel like the director, whoever made the film, um, was trying to go at an existentialist theme, sort of trying to emulate Camus type things, and because those kinds of existentialist stories always end openly with an open day no while, they just glued on this weird ending they just juxtaposed it with the rest of the film and it didn't really fit so yeah but i really liked it and i thought it was amazing because it was like south africa and it was it was nice that it was shot there and i really liked the main woman because she was she was like really reserved and quiet and like i kind of like like main characters like that because you never really get to know what's going on in their heads which is quite like different from most, most films um, but otherwise it was interesting, it was interesting to see South Africa from a different light, um, 